So continuing our discussion on skin pressure injuries, we wanna talk about how can we prevent them? That's extremely important, right? So we know that movement or lack of movement or a person sitting in a particular area for a long period of time reduces that oxygen flow. So the best way to prevent it is to help ensure that people don't sit or are not in the same position for long periods of time. So if people who can't move very well, we can ensure that they or have different, have different positions that they're in every hour or two during the day. Uh, that, so to, to help stimulate that blood flow or, or, or prevent the reduction in blood flow to particular areas. So movement is really important. Some other things though involve skin care. So being careful about using tape and rip, ripping tape off of a particular area or uh, bathing a person in water that's, that's too hot, uh, or using the right types of cleansers, that type of information. Making sure a person receives the right amount of nutrition because we talked about how nutrition is important in skin healing and in prevention of skin injury. So we need to learn about the uh, the, the right types of nutrition, um, pressure relief cushions. Okay, again, relieving that 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 pressure on particular areas can be helpful as well too. Looking at a person's devices that they might be using, assistive dev devices or braces, sometimes those can cause skin pressure injuries as well. So to learn more about ways you can prevent it, download the uh, skin pressure injury document at replacingrisk.com.